exactly what it is. Culture is deeply rooted and culture takes years and generations to change. While we are working towards reaching the SDGs uh, right now, yes. if we do not change our culture, we will not realize the benefits of SDG and also the vision 2030. So culture is, an, let me take the example of gender-based violence. And there has been increase in gender-based violence in this country, especially during the COVID period. We saw a lot of pressure in households level, economic pressure, which tended to uh, show itself or magnify itself as gender-based uh, violence. This is a cultural issue because there are many ways of really letting it out. You don't just punch the next person. And it's both ways, women being punched and men also being punched. It's, yes. go, it's really going both ways. For us to resolve this issue of gender-based violence, we'll need it's a total culture shift as we work towards ensuring that uh, there is ownership at a very personal level so that this individual sees that what I am doing is wrong. There's also ownership at the police station because cases that have been reported to the police they tend to be, you know, the people who go to report, they are told, go and sort it at household level. We have many other things we are dealing with. Yes. I cannot really handle this specific matter. And it's worse for the man who goes to report that they have been abused at household level. The police literally laugh at this gentleman and wonder what kind of, of man are you? So it's an entire systemic change. And also in the courts, the judiciary system, cases that get there are not really, they don't get to prosecution yet because of lack of evidence. Yes. And this bring in the healthcare system as well, because in the healthcare system, that's where the evidence of gender-based violence should be collected. So it's an entire system that needs to be, that needs to collaborate, come together and culture. If each of us would today say that we are bringing this magnitude, this issue of gender-based violence to an end, it is possible. It begins with me and you each of us at this level, at the community level, yes. towards ensuring that we end gender-based violence. Pretty much. Guess what? We are still with our Dr. Margaret right here, talking about... I thought the conversation was going to be just about healthcare, but you can see the PS Kenya is actually deep within all the systems in the country, starting from family, going to schools, going to the county governments, all the way up to the national government. Once we come back, this conversation continues. Remember, you can join us live and look up TV across all your social media platforms. I am Akia Gesimba. Once we come back, still with her.